My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So today was one of those days that I just felt like cooking. You ever have those days? So I made a bunch of food. So I made some fried cabbage and some homemade mashed potatoes. In my freezer, I had some dressing that my mom made. I think she made it at Thanksgiving and then she froze some and brought it to me. So I just doctored it up a little bit and baked it. And then um, some macaroni and cheese. I just doctored up a box of mac and cheese. It's, um, you just use a deluxe mac and cheese. And then I added in a little bit of sour cream and some cheddar cheese and I baked it and it changes the flavor. I'll link the recipe in the description box. And then I tried a new recipe for smothered, um, smothered turkey thighs. So the original recipe was for turkey wings. Howard and I don't really care for turkey wings. We do like thighs. And so that's what I made. It was a new recipe and I'll link it in the description box as well. Um, here in Texas, in my area of Texas, you can buy turkey thighs just like you can buy chicken thighs. And so I have four thighs in here and I really could have gotten away with making two because I forgot how big they are. So let me fix our plates and I'll show you how everything turned out. So here is Howard's plate. He's got cabbage, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and the turkey, and the turkey is super tender. We're not huge turkey people, but we both love turkey thighs, and these are super tender. And here is my plate. I have the same thing, except I have dressing, and Howard is not a big fan of dressing. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having Motor City Pizza. Of course, this was in my freezer. It was a twin pack that I picked up from Costco. So this is what the box looks like. I threw the box away a while back ago to make room in my freezer, but this is it. And we really like Motor City Pizza. It is so good. And you cook it in its own little uh, pan pizza tray. And then you're supposed to take it out of the tray before you cut it. Um, and also I added some red onions on top. I had some in my fridge and they were gonna go bad. So I just um, threw them on top. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having this chili mix from my pantry. I've had it for quite a while. Let me flip it over on the back here. And so you just need to add ground chicken or turkey or shredded uh, chicken. And I had some ground chicken in my freezer, so that is what I used. And you're also supposed to add some green chilies, uh, chicken broth, and uh, cannellini beans, and I used pinto beans. So it's a little bit um, more watery than I would like it to be. That's because the instruction said to rinse and drain the beans. I should have just dumped the whole can in there and then the beans would have thickened it up because it's really more like a soup and not a chili. So with it, we are going to actually, I'm gonna have Fritos. Howard doesn't like Fritos in his chili. So I'm having some Fritos and then we also have some Monterey Jack cheese that I had in the fridge. I had a block and I just shredded it up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I wanted to show you all what I'm making tonight using pantry ingredients. It's a new recipe. It's called chicken noodle casserole. So right over here, I've got some spaghetti noodles boiling. I have some chopped chicken that was in my freezer. And then in this skillet, I've got some fresh um, mushrooms and onions and butter sauteing. And then I've got some cheddar cheese here, sour cream. And then I have two cans of cream of chicken. One is unsalted and one is salted. So I'm basically just gonna combine everything together except the cheese. And then I'm going to put it in a casserole dish, pop it in the, uh, I'm sorry, put, add the cheese on top, put it in the oven and bake it. So I will be back. Okay, so here is the casserole. I baked it for 30 minutes and it's pretty tasty. And with it, I am serving this garlic naan from Trader Joe's. I do not have any garlic bread. I've been out for a while. So we are eating this. And I just added some butter on top. 
So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am using this dirty rice mix from my pantry. It is from Aldi. It says to add meat. It actually specifies ground beef, but I have a ton of pork sausage, so that is what I'm using. This is hot breakfast sausage, and then I decided to add some peppers to it, and this is a frozen pepper blend also from Aldi, so I added probably about a third of the bag in here so I'm gonna cook all of that up together and then I'm going to add some green onions to it as well I'm gonna chop them up and add them in so I will be back okay so here's our dinner and I actually do like the dirty rice I do think that it did need to be doctored up I think if you just used plain ground beef it would probably be pretty bland but the peppers and the green onion and the spicy breakfast sausage really made a difference. Pretty tasty. And then we had some leftover cabbage in the fridge from um, the turkey dinner. So uh, we're just finishing that up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.